of wood or bed um, and then from there I mean we move over. This is pretty. Yeah yeah we got the uh, the fire pits too. The glass fire, fire pits. You mean fire just comes up through them? Mm -hmm. Yeah it does. Oh, wow. It sure does. It's, uh, it's neat for sure but. Wow can you cook on that? No well I mean you can't I just the glass will get nasty but some people do. Um, oh. Yeah uh, and then we go we got the electric lighting show you but I've lost the remote. <laughs> That's alright. That's alright. <laughs> yeah I know and then the direct vent fireplaces these are going to be the, the furnace rated fireplaces um, that can, can heat the homes and then okay. the traditional wood burners with the, with the gas logs in them. <clears throat> and we've, we've also got another glass burner fire pit here that, that doubles as a table. We still have the glass in it right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, we, we usually have patio furniture here, but with, with COVID, they don't have any, any material to make them, so we can't get them right now. But, ah. um, good old COVID. Yeah, good old COVID. Um, and then more direct vent fireplaces. This one right here doesn't really put out much heat, but it is... Uh, it just looks nice. Yeah, right? it looks nice. That's about it. Do y'all do the installation also? Yeah, we install, oh, okay. uh, we run gas light, install the fireplaces, and we build out our kitchens. We What about the mantle? You you do all this rock stuff? Oh, uh, we don't do any rock okay. work or finish work, but we do do mat we will do mantles and stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, you don't want us doing rock work. <laughs> yeah. And then we've got, uh, this is called a North Star. It's a high efficiency wood burning fireplace. Oh, um, all, this is the real thing. Yeah, this one will heat this whole showroom. We're sitting at about 4,000 square feet up front and um, it'll heat the entire place and um, one load of wood on it on low will burn for about 10 or 12 hours. Wow. wow. Yeah. Very efficient. Yeah. Uh, now does it have a blower on it or something? Yeah, it has okay. blowers. Once it heats up, it'll kick it out and it, it, it'll scorch you. Wow. Um, yeah, and then uh, we've got another wood burner, and this one right here is actually a, uh, a direct vent linear. It's, it's, it's gas. Well, I think my mother's dead. But I'll, I'll light one of them for you. This one is, the, uh, is a wood burning fireplace with, with gas logs in it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So you can get a little heat off of that one. Yeah, yeah, you'll get a little heat. Uh, just radiant heat, though, not a whole lot. Um, That's pretty, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite. It's what I've got in my house, actually. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then we've got the little direct vent inserts. These are actually meant for wood burning fireplaces that are not operational anymore. Okay. Um, it's a self contained fireplace that slides in. Um, and this this will heat up to about 2,500 square feet. Man, the heat comes off of wow. this. This is great, yeah. isn't it? You yeah. feel that heat? Yeah, I do. Contradicting with the air conditioning. Yeah, it is definitely. <laughs> you can cut it off. <laughs> That's awful nice. That's pretty, though. I like how the, even the, 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 the coals, you know. Yeah. Look yeah. at that. They made them look realistic. It's yeah. Good. It really it's looks long. good. Yeah, and then we've got the, the see-through vented wood stoves, but... Don't have the room to put a bunch of them in here, but this is an example Oops, of them. I'm sorry. one of the ceramic wood stoves. It's okay. soap stone stoves. 
they're super high efficiency like the one around the corner too and then that's vented in here oh i see a vent going out yeah going out that's a that's a stove actually you can see the uh wood yeah. burning yeah. yeah this is more traditional style wow wow and, yeah now that's uh that's a wood isn't it yeah it is okay yeah, it's a real wood burner there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this wall right here is all the vent free logs, so they don't require any vent and they are 99% efficient and they heat up quick. Wow. Now, uh, these don't require vents. What about uh, the ones that do? Do they give off uh, uh, fumes or something? The ones that. Yeah, yeah. Like? The ones that do, they, they, they use a lot more gas and they create carbon monoxide and soot. Yeah. Um, so they do have to be vented. They look a lot better, but uh, these produce more heat with, with oh, okay, with yeah, okay. Um, okay. And that's that's pretty much right. All right. Yeah. This is a really neat store. Yeah, it is. Well, Let's get into the cooking stuff. <laughs> well, well, look at this little rig over here in the corner. Yeah, that's all. That we'll start with the weirdest one I've got. Uh, this is the Fire Magic uh, electric grill. So this one is good for you know small spaces like uh, apartments or uh, condos or anything that anywhere you, you don't you're not allowed to have a gas or charcoal grill um, these will cook uh, anywhere from about 225 degrees all the way up to about 800 degrees so you can do anything on them uh, uh, now what kind did you say it was fire magic okay uh, and fire magic is going to be the highest end brand uh, typically outside of Kalamazoo but Kalamazoo is, is going to be in the twenty thousand dollar range yeah I, yeah I i was looking at them kalamazoo grills yeah. on, online and God, that's where i'm from uh, just north of kalamazoo actually oh really yes yeah yes. They're, they're super expensive but they're nice yeah but oh they're beautiful yeah and they all most of the fire magics at least if you get the echelon or um the higher end auroras uh that's that's the model of the fire magics they do have these uh, heat zone settings so you can keep track of what each grid is on a gas grill yeah um and it has a built-in meat thermometer, so you can do that. Um, this one is, the electric is actually controlled completely by this, so you set a temperature on it and it'll maintain that temperature for as long as you want it. Um, and it like, if you have a meat setting on there, if it reach, the internal temperature of the meat reaches it, it'll cool the grill down just so it'll keep it warm and it won't cook it anymore. Wow. Yeah. So well, what are the drawers for? Then? The drawers are just purely storage. Um, okay. and then they don't a, heat or anything? No, okay. no, they don't. We've got a refrigerator too. Oh, wow. Um, built into it. But this is yeah. actually an all-in-one sold by Fire Magic. Um, but yeah, um, it's a neat little thing. You need to get you one of those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we've got the green egg accessories here, but... Um, and you got all kinds of rubs and... All kinds, and Smokey... This is funny. Have you ever seen Smokey Boys? No. Smokey Boys is actually a local uh, grilling group. They uh, they do competition cooks and everything. Um, <clears throat> my my cousin or my dad's uh, sister's husband has a brother, and he's the one that uh, that that makes all this rub and does all uh -huh. the cooking and everything. And actually, once a year during the spring, he comes by and does a cooking class for about 30 people outside. Yeah, that's the only one that, that would be different. Everybody knows about butt rub. And John Henry is a good one, too. He, he's a, him and his son, uh, I met him at a show, and they actually, they, they make all the rubs themselves, bottle and package and, and ship themselves. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, um, are y'all familiar with the green eggs or the Komodo grills? I, no, I'm not. Okay. I'm not. Um, all right. So they work like any other charcoal grill, but um, I was going to say the one thing that, that I thought was cool, I've got one now. This thing will control the temperature of them. Um, so you don't have to, you don't have to baby it if you do a long smoke or anything. Oh. Uh, it's called an egg genius or a flame boss is what most people know it by, but um, yeah. Huh. Now this is what I was wanting to see. Yeah. The green egg. Yeah. The big I, green egg. I, I mean, if you could explain the uh, technique of this, because this is a really a neat thing. Let's go up to the big one. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> so the uh, that's like a commercial grade, isn't it? Oh, this is actually the actual large. I've got one bigger than this, oh, the wow. XXL, which would be a commercial grade in my mind. Um, it'll fit about two of these in it. Uh, wow. But the green eggs are really the only way I I like to cook. Um, they are all in one. You can slow smoke for 20 hours at a time, or you can cook really high temperature, sear and everything. Um, 
they have a bunch of accessories too so this is this just is easier for clean charcoal clean out and you can divide the zone so if you want one side hot one side not hot um but yeah, all you do really, dump the charcoal, light it, and then you can put the grate back on top. But they do have a, a ceramic piece, it's called a plate setter, uh, or a convector is what they call it now, um, that sets over top right here. And mm -hmm. there's two or three legs that stick up to hold the grate. Um, and that turns it into more of like a convection oven than anything. It cooks mm -hmm. from all sides rather than just direct heat on bottom. So um, that's what allows it to smoke. But uh, I imagine one of those are very uh, heavy, aren't they? Yeah, they're very heavy. Yeah. And what and what kind of material is this? This is ceramic. Wow. So these are lifetime warranty grills. With uh, they're made of ceramic, so they they hold heat really well. Um, but they they do not like falling, so they will fall to pieces if you drop them. But this is how you control uh, heat heat output. Um, the bottom and top damper. So as you can imagine. The, the more it's closed, the, the, uh, sure. the colder it's going to be. So um, really, it's, it's a learning curve to get used to it. But once you get it, you can pinpoint the temperature within about 15 degrees of what you want. Wow. wow. Yeah, and you can you can cook anything on these. Like you said, you were you were cooking pies and and uh, pizzas and everything. I, I've done many pizzas on here. I've smoked Boston butts for 20 hours at a time on these. Mm. I actually did one out here a few weeks or last week. I'm mm. on our egg outside, but. Um, They've got these modular systems to hold the eggs and have dry storage for charcoal or what, whatever you have, whatever you want to do. Um, green eggs is the way to go. Well, I've smart. heard about them, but yeah. I, you know, I, uh, I've never used one. Yeah. But now this one's got two racks in it. Yeah, yeah, it does. It's, it's really meant for, like, I, I have one and I use it for when I do wings. Cause this little grate. I have this size, so this little grate right here won't hold as many wings as I usually want to make. So, put the first layer on and keep on stacking. Wow. Wow. So these do a great job. Oh yeah, these are awesome. I've got a I've got a big fancy fire magic, and it, it's never used because of these. Would you say that uh, when you're cooking, mm -hmm. uh, like meat, you're cooking meat? Mm -hmm. uh, would you say it, it? You know, the grill's got a lot to do with it. The kind of grill. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, the style of cooking is, is definitely different. I've got a good old gas grill. Yeah, yeah, most people do. But I've got some other stuff too. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a uh, what is that thing? Oh, a uh, 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 poor, poor man. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like a garbage can. Yeah, but it's a smoke. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking I about. I love that. Yeah. And uh, I actually did a turkey in it, and I did some ribs in it, mm -hmm. and it turned out really good. Brewmaster stainless grill. They uh, Brewmaster has always made uh, different grills. It's but this is their first ever attempt at a stainless grill. Um, this right here is actually a heat deflector to make it burn more evenly. But, sure. But all of these uh, all these burners are cast stainless steel with lifetime warranty. Um, they're heavy. As um, they're not, these are grills that you buy and you never have to get another gas grill. Um, That's right. Okay. They, they like them too. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, these, um, these do have come with a back burner for rotisserie and everything. Hey, you uh, notice, uh, the, the top line grills like this, the, the, uh, the thing, every, all the, uh, extra things on it, like the, like the grill itself. Mm -hmm. I guess you call it a grill, don't you? Yeah, you? the griddle. Or okay, the griddle. Rack. Okay, they're heavy, heavy yeah. duty. Yeah, they are. So this would be like a heavy duty grill. Oh yeah, yeah. These are definitely grills that, that will last a lifetime. They're all 304 stainless, um, so they're never going to rust. You can I, I, I call it a commercial grill. I don't know yeah. why, but yeah, yeah. Most people do, and this is a, it's similar makeup, but. Um, this cast stainless steel burners and everything like that again. Oh wow, that's going to last a long time. Yeah, welded stainless, uh, all yeah. 304, all throughout. Um, it's pretty. Yeah, it is. It's pretty. Got the fridge there. Yeah, got the fridge, the aluminum cabinet and everything. Wow. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's got the eye on the end. I know what I've seen yeah. now. That's a big eye. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, and then we've got the Brawlmaster original. So these grills have been around for 
about 75, 80 years now. Um, they're cast aluminum bodies, so they they never rust, they never deteriorate, and you could drop them out of the back of a truck and they're, they'd be perfectly fine. Um, they hold heat really well. They're also lifetime warranty grills, stainless uh, heavy cooking grids, and then these actually use uh, charcoal briquettes okay. to, to disperse heat. And like the old style. Yeah, yeah, yeah the okay. old style. They use a bow tie burner for more even cooking. Um, but they're, they're pretty simple grills. That's, that's kind of the way I like it. Uh, this is a power burner, actually. Um, this is meant for, like, if you like to do low country bowls and things like that. Okay. These are 90,000 BTU burners, so uh, they'll heat a big pot of water and boil it within a couple minutes. Uh, they're super high, high heat burners. Wow. Yeah, and this is one of the Fire Magic gas grills. We saw the, the electric in there earlier. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, this one has everything like the lights and um, the igniters are a lot different on these than others. Um, these are uh, a glow plug igniters, so you hold it in like this, uh -huh. and then if it was, yeah, you can actually see it. There it is, the glow plug down there glowing down that tube. Oh yeah. And that's what ignites the gas rather than spark ignition. It's okay. A, it's a lot more reliable in the long run. But yeah, these uh, these are you know, the top of the line. Now is yeah. that stainless steel? Yeah, it's all. Oh wow. Stainless. Wow, man. Yeah. Yeah, we do build all these outdoor kitchens. We built both of these out here. And uh, this is... This is the one you cook on. Yeah, this is the one I cooked on last time. I forgot to throw away the grease Oh, trick. wow. <laughs> it smells good. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Um, do you use uh, any type of wood chips? Yeah, uh, whenever I was doing the butt, I, I used the big uh, hickory wood chops. But, okay. Uh, I just soak them and then, and then throw them in once it gets hot. You mind me asking what you soak them in? Water. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's hot water. Uh, now, yeah. why do you? <laughs> I'm sorry, so many questions. Right. Your show. That's all right. That's why? Right. Why do you uh, soak them? Because it makes them smoke more. Really? Yeah, okay. They don't them, burn up. Yeah, they don't burn up as quickly. You okay. Can smoke for longer. Okay. Well, I learned something right yeah. there. Yeah. Got the outdoor fire pit. Fire pits. Oh wow. Yeah, we, yeah, we build them custom too, not just like the one we saw inside. This one is actually all all put together by us. We, we built the frame, built the burner system, and everything like that. Wow. wow. Got the outdoor fireplace with the TV above it. Well, a lot of wow. Wow. There, there yeah. be there, right? Yeah. This will go in outdoor kitchens like this, and it burns to the glass. And, uh, this is an awesome kitchen right here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is the ideal kitchen. Um, oh, man. The AOG gas grills, they're, they're made by Fire Magic. They're just a more affordable Fire Magic, pretty much. Um, with, with a lesser warranty, but that's really the main difference. Um, Fire Magic is in a line of its own. I mean, you know, it's yeah. top of the line. Yeah. That's awesome. That's actually meant for a drop in blender, but we don't leave it out here. It usually goes missing. Sure. <laughs> What's this one over wow. here? Wow. That is a just a cutting board. Cutting board, and and you slide it over, and it drops out in the trash can below it. Well, how about well, they that? thought of everything, didn't they? Trash yeah. chute. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Trash chute. Big deep sink. Yeah, and we got the ice maker behind you. Oh, okay. It's actually on right now. We use it Ooh, year look round. At her. Yeah. I know where to come get my ice now. Come get it. It'll dump otherwise, and down here is kind of the ugly part of it where we've got the gas running to everything out sure. there. Sure. Wow. Yeah. Got all the controls right there, but. Uh, yeah, it's a two burner over here, man. Yeah. Well, you have a beautiful store here. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, well, Jack. We don't want to take any more of your time. Thank you so much for uh, me and I cooking with Casey. Yeah. Maybe one day we can come over here and cook something. Yeah, for sure. How's that sound? Yeah, come on. All right, appreciate it. All Thank right. you so much, Thank Jack. You. Yep.